What's up guys, it's your boy Pete and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything houseplant related. If that tickles your fancy, hit that subscribe button, sit back, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, so today's video, right to my thumbnail, um, we are doing some up potting, <laughs> things of that such, and I'm um, separating my Hoya series, just a regular Hoya pubic calyx. Um, I wouldn't say splash, but it has some speckles in it. Um, my Princess Hoya Carnosa. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're separating those and everything else is like getting up hot. I'm propagating this here, Melanie Carson. She's like, I'm done with it. A lot of you guys um, were around when I did chop and prop her. It's, it's just whatever. So, Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I'm pretty sure I have everything I need. We're going to start with this here. Um, string of hearts. We've been through the ringer. She's way older than she looks. I definitely can tell you that. Um, but I learned fairly quickly not to um, repot and then into something bigger and then um, cover up. A lot of the foliage and I was whatever guys but um, she's gonna go down in here no drainage of course which is fine uh, oh, uh, it's back here I have my dirty spag mixture you guys I don't know if you've seen that video or not but it should should be out I don't know but all right <clears throat> Um, she already had some down in there, so I'm not trying to replace all of it. And I definitely want her to fit comfortably. So I just put a little down at the bottom there. And we're just going to go on the inside. Oh, okay. So yeah, as you can tell, her light is falling. Oh, as you can. <clears throat> there we go. She is fully rooted <coughs> in this here pot so whoa let's go down in here now with this with this method here since they are um, the roots are wrapped around basically the root ball um, what I have to do is go in and separate or nuzzle out a lot of the substrate which is nothing but sphagnum moss but we're definitely going to add more to her. And then also, of course, um, since I did spread her out, we have to get these edges out of the way. Um, she's in a bigger pot, so I definitely don't want this here sphagnum moss to be too with air pockets. Yeah, she'll dry out fairly quickly. <clears throat> Even though she has like a little drainage cup here at the bottom, but still, you know. Um, checking the sides here. This can use a little more. Oh, that's a lot. Let's go around. Okay. All right, so she looks a little funky right now. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> to her. This can go. Yeah, it'll be alright. Alright, so how I'm doing, or how I've actually been doing, was just basically wrapping. There we go. Um, the strings back around in the back of the mouse so that we can continue this here. Nice root system. And then also just make the pot a lot fuller. Um, of course, since we just up potted her, there's a lot more space here at the top that we can work with. Which I don't like working on these things, you guys. They're just stringy. And if you pull too hard, then you break one. And then, you know, at that point, it was very pointless. So, yeah, that's that. But, yeah, guys, just basically wrapping this here around back in here. As I said before, I would love... Um, 
a full apart. Let's see, will that work? It looks a little better. Um, these, oh my goodness, guys. Like, well, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have string hearts. Uh, yeah, the tanglement, the, the entanglement. <laughs> it's out of this world. All right, so is this, all right. Should I just leave? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that little piece or pieces hanging. And again, I just laid them down on there. And once I take them back inside, once I take them back inside of the grow tent or grow space, then I will mist them down with my waterwork finger mer jigger. That thing, yeah. Um, let's put her over here. But I probably should just wrap her all the way and just let it start over again. Yeah, let's just let's do that. Um, I did just add a bed of moss in here, so or some more rather. But yeah, let's do that. You're going to, if I can get her untangled. There we go. All right, guys. There we go. So of course the leaves will adjust themselves, but I just went ahead and put them all back in there. Oh, all right. Next, we can go ahead and get this here, Melon Carson out of the way, over it. Um, I have some wet sticks here because this here is the mother base. Yep, the mother base looks like she gave up on me. No, no, she didn't. Yeah, she did. Oh, that's just not cool. She was about to give up on me. Yeah. All right, but um, there are some nodes here. Pretty sure they probably won't make it, but I don't know about these area roots either. <clears throat> Which they are pretty old, I can tell you that. Oh crap, I just broke the eye. Ain't that some crap? There was an eye on here and I just broke it off. Which is why I was trying to save this little piece. It's just, that just irked my feelings. Alright, but these are the two nodes off of that piece. She just, yeah. That just irked me, guys. It really, the phone is ranking. Hold on, guys. Alright guys, so what I'm just going to do with her is just put her, uh, I don't know since I messed up the eye, if it's going to grow or not, but just place her in the prop box and see what happens from there, but yeah. Two moment of Carson nodes. Now with this one here, I'm just so over it, and I mean so, so over it. I wonder could I... Uh, Yeah, this base definitely needs more. I hope you guys can see that. Needs more sphagnum moss around it. She's leaning backwards. Yeah, let's just go ahead and. Yeah, we're just gonna get her out of here, you guys. I, I just. I can't anymore. Just heard some. Okay, so she's she was growing. Um, definitely can tell just by the little new growth. Now, when I did put this in here, I did force her um, because you remember all of these had leaves on and they were nice size like that, and I can tell by the root system. Yeah, so I'm just going to cut these into looks like nodes, I would guess. Cut it there. So I left two nodes. There's more than two on here. She, I'm more than two nodes on there, but I left that one and this one as well. We're just going to just go 
into some water like that and I'm going to have to pour out some of that water as well but anyway um, these two will go right into the prop box and see what happens I'm not sure what's going to happen but we're going to put these in here and hope for the best Let's cut some of this stick out trash trash all right so this is what root system it had you can see some of the roots on the bottom now it was a lot i'm pretty sure there's a lot more roots i heard some popping snapping but um yeah but this is a free vessel now put her down there um do i have a i don't have a small pot but we'll be right back all right, guys. So I um, went out and got some more of these here. Um, nursery containers or pots, rather. Oh. So, hmm, should I use? Well, doesn't really matter. Bag them. All right, guys. So these, or well, this rather, I just use one. Well, this is a weird one. And then there's two. Oh, yeah. That'll be fine. Oh. Oh, no. This sphagnum moist is already moist. The sphagnum moist. Ha. This sphagnum moist is already moistened. All right. That should be good enough there. And what we're going to do... Let's get these down in here. I'm trying to find the eye. There we go. Uh, there. This one is the same way. Yep. Uh, there. And these are melanos. And I'll just lay this one right on top, you guys. I don't know if you can see this or not, but we're getting them down in here. And right back on top with the sphagnum moss and again the other one there's one laying down I'll show you guys once I get through and two that are sticking up the nose are too close for the one that is somewhere here it is that is laying down so I couldn't I could but I won't cut it definitely beat the purpose of trying to save it come on so yeah, that'll do. A little bit more sphagnum moss. All right, guys. Now we're through. All right, so this is what she's looking at. Like. The two are there, and then there's one laying across, which was a double node, which was fairly close together. All right. What do we have next? All right, let's do the same thing with my um, variegated string of hearts. Again, grown in sphagnum moss. I, I got this from Juar Horticulture Culture. You guys go and check them out. YouTube and Instagram. Um, he sent these to me, and they've just been growing ever since. And actually, has grown a lot from. Um, what he sent, I did cut some, and um, after I up-potted it to this here little pot, I ended up um, laying them over, and you know the whole process, guys, laying them over, and all this other good stuff, so, yeah, she's going to go into another six-inch pot, of course, one of my um, coaches, or cash flow, you guys call them. All right, so same thing. Um, what we're going to do? Let's sit right here just a little bit, and then again, it doesn't matter. All right, same thing. What we're going to do, you guys, is fill her up with sphagnum moss. Now I'm using this only because I know for a fact the top layer here is just regular sphagnum moss. Uh, it's definitely dirty sphag in here, you guys. But um. Since I 
made a fresher batch. I put more soil, uh, more part soil in here as well as mulch. So yeah, it's very dirty at this point. Anyway, I didn't want the, the, the pieces and stuff to fall straight through, which is why I usually do a layer of sphagnum moss, but let's go ahead and get her out. Um, come on out of here. All right, so she could have stayed in here a little bit longer, and I'm sure she could, well, would have enjoyed herself, as you can see, but um, we're aiming for a fuller pot. You guys can see that. Yeah, we're aiming for a fuller pot here, guys. So, yeah, and then also, of course, more root system, which means a healthier plant and bigger leaves and all this other good stuff that we do love. So again, now I'm just filling the surrounding part of this here plant with sphagnum moss, dirty spag, and there's sphagnum moss all over the place. I'm making a complete, a complete mess here. It's okay. It's for a good cause, you know. All right, so I have one more side over here. that I'm doing the same exact way as I did the rest of them. Now this here is just, there we go, that was just ridiculous. Uh, well, I think that's it aside from, oh uh, yeah, aside from this little hole right here on the side. And there we go. Okay, dokie. All right, so I'm going to do this here the same exact way how we did the regular string of hearts. A little bit more, guys. Right here. All right. Yeah. So we're going to do it the same way we did the other string of hearts. Since we just up potted her, I would like to. Again, spread the root system out and encourage her to branch out some more. So that is what we're going to do now. All right. Now, I probably should. Well, these here seem a lot easier to spread out than that um, regular string of hearts. Simply because of the regular string of hearts, um, I think, have more vines than this one. Or is it? It looks like it. Um, compared to these here, but um, we're going to get them growing even more than what they are now, actually. Okay, and this one. And then these over here. All right, guys. So, all right, this is what she looks like now. And the next time you probably see her again, um, she'll be trailing once again, and hopefully a lot of this will be filled out. And again, oh, I don't like how this one is turned over like that. Yeah, this one's just weird. Sorry about that, guys. That one was, the whole vine was, was turned upside down on that one. That was not cool. All right, now we're done. So the next time you'll see these, hopefully all these will have grown out. Um, let's get her down in here. And once they grow out, they already look good in here. But there they go. All right, guys, let's get her here. All right, so the next one we're working with, let's just go ahead and do this here, curtsy eye. Um, we're going to use, we're going to use this one, or did I go on? Well, they're both cool. All right, let's use this your family pot. Nice pot, you guys, there we go. Discount code down in the description box. Um, same instance, 
bag the moths here. Dirty spag rather. In the pot. Now we're just going to get her out the pot. Now these here, I usually keep them for like um, cuttings and different propagations. If I ran out, yeah, this one here, we just put more. Remember when we added more substrate to her? Um, this is, well, that is this and this is that, however that goes. But let's get her down in here. And. I'm going to use this one, even though, well, yeah, I use this one. It's a lot drier than what's in there, and I need some of that in just a second to make sure I have um, this here plant over here in a um, same strip, sub substrate, just uh, moisten, you guys. I didn't want to use all of my moistened already fertilized sphagnum moss is basically what I'm trying to say all right so basically now we're just going in and as I did before we're filling in the holes I want it um, a tight fit but I also again I don't want it just having pockets of air when something can be there, you know, roots and stuff to try and grow and spread out compared to, you know, again, pockets. All right. So for the most part, kind of like the rest of them have to readjust. I'm okay with that. Uncover some of these leaves that are covered and now sphagnum moss. There we go. Found another pocket. Boom, this here. Alright, guys. I think like one more should do it. There we go. On this side as well. Hmm. Alright, guys. There we go. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, okay, I got it this time. All right, so again, just like the rest, looks a little, it's okay. Um, but there she is, and hopefully I can find another pot of these at Lowe's. But they're nice plants, you know, very sturdy. Forgiving as well, because if you know for a while, I was not on the Hoya train, but yeah. Um, what I have next... I was going to, I do these off of camera, but these are my aloes that I'm going to show you guys because I'm using soil and pond to how I grow these, but these are the root systems and um, Kip sent me these. Thank you, guy. One of my... Um, Fellow, uh, oh, one of my fellow supporters here on the channel. Um, but yeah, he sent me these, and then he also sent me a wasteless plant as well, which we are potting up. I'll probably just wait last to do these because I had to take the Hoyas a loose one. So yeah, we'll wait. I'll wait to show you that. Um, but all in all, they are growing just awesomely, awesomely good. And she is ready to be potted up. I'm trying to make sure I get all the roots back down into the water. But yeah, she's all ready to be potted up. Um, yeah, I said I need to pour some of this water out and let's just pour it in here. Okay, okay. And it's actually pretty good. Yeah, okay, so we'll get to this in a second. Um, let's go ahead and get these here for you. Pinch them right on off. Yeah, so they, and, and there's no roots. Yeah, I pinched them off, so. 
Just pouring some of the water out. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to have to. Huh. What if we just had to grow like that? Wouldn't that be awesome? But I don't know. I could just take this off, make my life a lot easier. Um, I think the only thing I did to this was um, hot glue. Yeah, hot glue it down to it. Come on, there we go. There it go. There it go. There we go, guys. All right, so now I can get her out. Um, there's some new growth. Let's see, show you guys. We'll see them up close, but yeah, she's growing. I'm so happy, and hopefully she doesn't stop growing because what I'm gonna do to her? Yeah, let's hope not. But yeah, I got a feeling. That's going to happen. I probably should have pre soaked some of this here moss. I think one of these, yep. So we're going to pre soak. Try to get some of this here wet moss so that I can get this here. Um, well, these plants basically separate a lot quicker. I probably should have been did it to be honest with you, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. So, if they weren't so separated, you guys, oh yeah, this is going to not be cool. I know you probably heard that and that and Jesus. Oh God, this is not going to be cool, you guys. I'm hearing popping and, all right, so this is the regular, oh God, there's no roots on this thing. And I know she has roots. Oh my god, this is, we're going to work with it, I'm not going to touch them, but gorgeous, queen, there we go, um, and then this is the regular pubic calyx, <clears throat> so we are putting those into two pots, right, 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 right. Okay, this is, okay, I know what this is. This pot needs to go. All right, so one here, and then the other one here as well. Both no drainage, you guys. So I wanted to make sure. Is that a, oh, well, is this new? But uh, I want to make sure I have some, well, Guys, the wind is up. It's supposed to be very rainy today, so if you can hear that, sorry about that. But um, anyway, guys, getting some of this here out. Some of this is moist at the bottom, so that's that's good as well. Okay. All right, guys. So I think that should do it. Um, I definitely need to leave some room. And then also um, have enough to go on the actual top part of part of the plant. Uh, here we go again. Uh, here we go. Just let it go. Just let it go. Oh. Jesus. This was a good idea when I when I first did it. Now, yeah, not such a good idea. This looks like a, Jesus. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. I got it, guys, I got it. I don't. I just don't like this, oh, destroying the roots like this. Like this here queen, I know for a fact I can um, go and find them. But, you know, we, me and her have spent some time together, so. I'm not going to give up on her. All right, this is this one, which is a oh bigger piece here. Is that a, did it revert? I don't know. This one looks like it's reverted. Should I cut it? I don't know. Let's cut this. It's reverted. 
but I don't know. I just cut it. Alright, so, but the, a lot of this is the, the same though. Well, no, this is the regular, and then this is the Jesus. Like, a lot of this is, this is going to stop growing. I can tell you that. I definitely can tell you that. This thing is rooted, rooted, and I just destroyed it, destroyed it. All right, so, okay, this one, all right, this one has, like, all the moss it needs, to be honest with you, because I didn't take it all the way loose. There's a lot of root here. Not even going to even try to even begin to bother it. And there's another piece here. Hopefully you guys can see this mess I'm making. Alright, so just going to behind her and filling her in with good old sphagnum moss. Other side as well. Oh, guys. If I knew I was going to get into Hoyas, I would have never did this. Oh, boy. At least put them together like that. Well, if you don't remember, I did sell a lot of my Hoyas. Um, did mostly trading, honestly, but um, I got rid of a lot of them. I wasn't even nowhere near the train of Hoya as I am now but there we go I think everything is copacetic now just in case right here in the middle there's this little funny gap that I don't like and I'm pretty sure since I did separate the roots there are some roots that are not touching the substrate okay all right hopefully when it's time to water um, the sphagnum moss will um, expand out and fill in a lot of these spaces but I think I got it Wait, there's one right here Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's super bad. All right. Okay, I need to make sure I put this cutting in there as well. I don't know if I should put that cutting in here just because it still has the pink, I mean the uh, princess DNA in the stem and it might just, and I just cut it. All right, so anyway, let's get this piece to be cut and we're just going to place it down into the sphagnum moss and to be honest with you I'm gonna put some sphagnum moss right on top of it directly on top all right so now we are done all right guys this is what she looks like now um, I'm going to trailer her probably off the camera I'm pretty sure um, but yeah, she was used to that growing up the stick. So we're going to fix her, but this is the Hoya Pubicalic. Um, I can't call it a splash, but I guess like you can call it a speckle splash. Whatever, guys. Let's get her here. She's fine there. Um, let's do this here. The next one, which probably is the same. We were speaking sphagnum off. Now that was dry. We got this part here as well. Get her down in here. Alright. Then I push her down and we're off to fill her up. Same with you guys, um, whatever substrate you're using, make sure you get in your air pockets.
but I'm filling her up the same way as I did before. Hot rather, I would say, not a dish, but still looks good to me. All right. Um, last but not least, you guys, we are working another um, pot. Or oh, no, I don't. Sorry about that. We can use this one here. There we go. Um, same instance. Um, what we're doing now is yeah. Um, my philodendron tora. I cannot get that out for nothing. Um, all right. So since we are we don't waste out of here, we are through with this here. I think the bottom half, the bottom portion. We'll still have roots coming out of it. All right, guys. So a lot of this on the back side has the rocks in it, which I'm trying to avoid putting in here, but it doesn't hurt. Like it really doesn't hurt them at all. But again, I'm just trying to prevent from using all right this should definitely be good enough all right so we're just going to where are we i was going to use this one here but i don't have a um pot for it and then a pot that i could use is like yeah so we're just going to keep it cute here yeah, all right, yeah, we're gonna do that. I was going to do something else with it, but we're already here, you guys. Let's, let's finish it on up. All right, so just like the rest, fill her up. Whoa. All right, so these here rocks will Alright guys, sorry about that camera cut off on me, but um, we're going to go ahead and get her one of my infamous, infamous moss planks, you guys. Um, what am I looking for? I have my fishing wire here. Let's go ahead and do my tie knot. Simple knot to get it started down at the bottom. Um, this here process you guys with the tying down part. It's nothing special. Um, you're just tying a simple knot and making sure it's tight enough so you can start to place her on the pole. But again, this is her. There's one funky leaf that is right at the back that I might just take off and I just did. Um, this is the one that was unfurling when it was um, shipped to me. But yeah, let's go ahead and get her on here. All right, what piece did I just take the freak off? All right, so here we go. She looks a little funky right now. Did that do it? And I'll just cover that with sphagnum moss. Bingo. All right. So with her being um, such a small specimen, which I do like, I'm able to. There we go. Oh, how about this? There we go. Now I'm able to um, control her a lot better, as in like placements and things of that such. It makes it a lot easier. And I mean a lot easier, at least on my part. Uh, should I go under this? Yeah, let me go under. Under the leaf. All right, so I was going to go over the, the stems, but since this is a small specimen, you guys, I want to make sure that when the leaves want to readjust themselves to a better lighting position um, and actually can turn without 
you know, any bad repercussions, which could literally, yeah, like this one here is turned, and this root system is way up here. stream go there we go all right guys so again just trying to adjust these here roots to make sure they go the right way and of course cut her off and this is what we're looking like as of now um, and of course she's going to go into some great growing conditions to optimize growth. Alright, so I was trying to. That's better. Alright, guys, so um, she's gonna go down in here. She's supposed to went down in here, but yeah, we talked about that. Anyway, she's gonna go here. So it seems all right. There we go, guys. And now what I have to do now is crap. All right, there we go. Now all I have to do is add in some more this year dirty bag. Where did I put it? There it is. Um, this is my rocks. I told you they would come in handy. Oh, uh, a lot of these rocks have sphagnum moss in it. Nothing wrong with that. Again, more space for the roots to grow and develop. All right, well, no, let me just take that out. That's pure spag from moss. All right, guys. Um, that is technically it. We are done. Um, aside from me trying to fish out rocks and like that the rest of the dirty spag but yeah guys we are done today again other than the the mess that I did make I was thinking I tried to grow something out of this I doubt that it'll grow yeah it doesn't even look healthy yeah I don't know Yeah, but I'll try. I doubt it. Like I said before, I'll stick it. Um, again, part of that melon of Christ and that just rotted from the um, the base. Which technically, okay, it was my fault. Alright, but it isn't supposed to go like that. In like that, rather. Anyway, uh, we're going to try it. If it doesn't work, so be it. But, um, yeah, guys, that is it here for today's video. Um, I cannot wait until she just starts to grow again. She just shut out a new leaf. Haven't had her that long. So it's letting me know that it's prime growing season. And then, you know, hopefully it's also saying she's a fast grower. But, whoa, that is it here, guys, for today's video. Please do me a favor with that like button if you enjoyed also comment down below. Um, let me know, do you have a totem? Are you still looking for them? Um, maybe you don't like them, but um, she has been on my, let's get this out for a second. She has been on my wish list for some time now. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, that's better. I'm so glad that I did get her in my collection, but yeah guys, um, everything that 
I've done here. Um, you will definitely get an update sometime soon. It's usually like when I'm doing um, either a tour or have to go over something. But all in all, guys, um, make sure you are subscribed. Um, make sure you hit the notification bell. Let you know what's going on over here at Plant with Pete. All of my materials that I do use here over on the channel will be down in the description box below. Do me a favor, go over and oh, go over and check them out. Some of them do come with a discount code as well. And that is it, you guys. Um, as I said before, I will trailer these. Maybe on a video, maybe not. Um, something very simple, quick. Maybe off camera. I don't know, but um, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Oh, guys, come on now. Get yourself a tour. Um, I'm like, look at that. That's the new leaf that just unfurled there, and she is spectacular.